Welcome, parents and children, to week 17 of School Readiness. I'm glad you guys made it. I'm happy to see you guys once again, uh, even if it's virtual. So let's uh, get our clapping hands out and let's shake them up a little bit. We'll do our good morning song, and then we will go over our journal topic. We'll go over our activity for today and read a book together. So you guys ready? Here we go. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. And you, and you. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Como esta? Como esta? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y ustedes? Y ustedes? All right. Uh, so now is a good time. If you have not yet uh, done your journal activity, I want you to grab your journal or a piece of paper or a pencil uh, so you can go through the journal activity today. So um, our journal activity today is uh, draw a picture of a space rock. So we'll pause here. We'll do our journal activity and then we'll talk about what a space rock is. All right. Hopefully you got a chance to do your journal activity together. Um, I'd love to see some of your space rocks. So maybe if uh, your parents can take a picture later, uh, share them with our Facebook group. That would be great. I love to, I love to see the stuff you guys do. Um, but uh, a space rock, what is a space rock? Well, there are a bunch of different types. There's of course uh, planets, right? Those are rocks. Well, these are the interior rocky planets of, of, a, of a solar system. Uh, Earth could be considered a space rock, you know, it's a planet. Uh, but mostly we're talking about uh, asteroids and meteors, um, or even uh, comets. Those are all uh, things we have for uh, common space rocks. So uh, hopefully it see some of your pictures later of what you drew. Um, can't wait to see. Uh, but getting now we're uh, talking about that, uh, let's get into our activity today because we're dealing with a particular uh, space rock. Although this one's called the moon. It's our moon, Luna. Uh, and what you're doing today or this week, is you are going to be painting a picture of a moon, right? So you will need your <clears throat> black construction paper. Okay, that was in your kit. If you haven't picked up a kit, uh, you just need some black paper if you have some. You'll need a tin foil. Okay, there were two pieces inside your kit. Uh, you definitely need one for this activity. Uh, this is in, going to become our paintbrush, actually. So I'll show you that in just a moment. And inside, you also need, there's some white paper in there. Okay, this will be the, the base of our moon, right? What you'll need is a pair of scissors, uh, something circular, uh, a bowl, uh, a cup, anything that's round that you can trace using a pencil or a marker and trace a circular shape out of this. And then you're gonna use your scissors to cut it out, right? So you get some fine motor practice in. Uh, parents, if you're not ready for your children to have quite have scissors yet, uh, you can cut with them or maybe you can uh, help them by cutting it out, right? But then you'll also need this. this. Now, right now, it's just a flat piece of tin foil, right? What we're going to do is we're going to crumple it up a little bit, okay? Crumple it up. And what we're doing is we're getting some nice uh, peaks and valleys, some jagged, some texture, right? All right, so now my flat piece of foil has become a very lumpy, bumpy piece of foil. I'm holding it. And what we'll do with this, in your bag, there's some uh, different paint. There's blue, red, and yellow. They are primary colors. Uh, but you may want to add something else. Maybe you have some paint at home. Black, green, purple, orange. Um, lots of different colors in space. And we'll use this to first paint your moon, right? So you dip in your paint and then you dab it onto your moon shape, right? Because moon, moon could be any color. It could be any color, right? And you definitely want to glue that onto your black paper. And you can also use that paint to dab around and make uh, nebula and, you know, space dust, right? So you're going to make it a picture of space, but the moon is your focal point, right? So it's your moon. So you can uh, make it any color you wish. Or since we're talking about space rocks, you can make it... You can make it into a, a comet or an asteroid. So if you don't want to do a circular shape, you can make it in a regular shape. 
make it your room. Okay, this is an open-ended activity, but the idea is to make uh, a space-born body, right? Something in space. So you have some blank canvases here, some paint, and some foil to do that. So again, uh, just like your journal activities, if your parents take pictures of it, I would love to see it, right? And then I have a book. Since we're talking about space still, I, have, I found one more space book. And this book is called Stars, Stars, Stars. This has been a very good book. Last week, we were talking about stars and constellations. Um, what are stars? Yeah. yeah they're, they're big balls of gas, right? right? Uh, they're very hot because there are some chemical reactions going on in there, right? Uh, nuclear explosions, really. Our, our closest star is what? The sun, that's right. The sun is the closest star to planet Earth. Even though it's the closest star, it's still very, 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 very far away. 93 million miles, approximately. It's giving you a kind of a round number there, but it's very far. It would take you a long time to travel there. So um, we're gonna talk about what's in this book though. Star, star, stars. Now, what part of the book is this? Excuse my sniffle there. Yeah, the front cover. That's the front cover. What part is this here? The back cover. Good job, guys. And since we're going to have this like this, this is the spine. Yeah, that's the spine. All right. Inside, we'll find all of the pages. Yeah. Oh, you guys are good at this. We have the front cover and back cover. The spine, pages. Let's introduce one more piece. Let's see, where is that? Ah, here we go. What page is this? The title page, yeah. The title page, it has a title, but the title page's job is to tell us who published the story. Uh, Scholastic Incorporated, right? That's a very large publishing house. Make lots of books. Right. Let's read about this book. I'll read about stars, stars, stars. <clears throat> stars, stars, stars. I want to see planets and stars. Yeah, what are they using right here? It's a telescope. That's right. right. Telescopes have been around for actually a long time. Um, Bright stars twinkling above big city lights. Distant planets glowing over black country nights. So we see stars mostly at night, right? Because during the daytime, the sun's light is too bright. It crowds out all that distant light. But even in the daytime, you're still seeing starlight. That bakery noodle a little bit. Constellations that take shape when I connect them with lines. Milky Way star shining 200 billion times. That's right. So in the Milky Way galaxy, that's where we find our solar system. There are over 200 billion stars. Many, many. That's a lot. It's a lot of stars. The sun that burns with golden light. Hot planet Mercury turning slowly in the night. So remember the sun is humongous, right? It's over a million times bigger than planet Earth. That's how big it is. And it's not even that big of a star. Right? But Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Venus, the evening star, first planet to shine in the twilight sky. So Venus, depending on the time of the year, can generally be seen uh, from planet Earth at night. And from this distance, it looks like a big bright star, but it's actually planet Venus. And planet Venus is both the brightest and the hottest planet 
in our solar system. Blue-green Earth with a dusty moon orbiting by. That's where we live. Earth is the largest of the four interior rocky planets. Stormy Mars, going red in the vastness of space. You see Mars over here. Now Mars appears red because it has lots of iron oxide, kind of rust, right? Coating its surface and from a distance, it makes it look very red. After Mars comes Jupiter. Jupiter's the biggest planet in our system. Giant planet Jupiter, moving with grace. So Mars is red in the vastness of space, and Jupiter is moving with grace. Saturn circled by rings and Uranus spinning on its side. Yeah. There's Saturn's rings, they're very prominent. But as you can see, the other gas giants have rings as well. Wendy, Neptune, and tiny Pluto orbiting wide. You can tell this book's kind of old because Pluto is considered a dwarf planet. It's gone back and forth. Right now, Pluto's orbiting further away from the sun than Neptune. Um, but in, I think, uh, a little over 100 years, Pluto will actually be closer to the sun than Neptune because Pluto has an irregular orbit. Kind of neat. Shooting star streaking tails of sparkling light. The Big Dipper holding a scoop of night. So we're talking about those constellations. The Big Dipper is actually uh, part of a constellation. It's in another constellation itself. Right? Uh, it's Ursa Major, I believe. All right. Last week we talked about constellations in your journals. There's a constellation right there. Looks like a big spoon or a ladle. Last but not least, stars, stars, stars. I want to see planets and stars tonight. So tonight, if you're still up, because it's almost summertime and it doesn't get dark quite soon enough, if you're still awake, check out some stars. The end. All right. Well, what I want to do is I like to sing a song with you guys. Uh, we haven't done a song in a while. Um, what do you think would be a good song for us to sing together? We've been talking about stars and planets. Twinkle, twinkle, that be, that's perfect. Good job. All right. So we get your twinklers out. These are going to be my twinklers. What we're going to do, we'll do Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star together. Then we'll do our goodbye song. And that will be the end of our day. All right, here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All right. Good job, guys. All right. Well, while we have these twinklers out, Let's rub them together, get them warmed up. We're gonna do our goodbye song. Now we guys have plenty of time to create your own uh, space object, a moon, an asteroid, or a comet, or a meteor. Right. You guys ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. We'll see you next week. Something's beeping out there. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next week. As always, thank you for letting me be a part of your morning, and we'll see you next time.